Everybody, Black and Ninja 797 here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be playing once again for the first time in a long time Call of Duty Mobile. It has been a while since we have played this game. I actually can't remember the legitimate last time we have played this game, but it has been a long time. And the reason why I actually stayed away from it recently is because with the newest season of Call of Duty Mobile, which I believe was 13, if I'm not mistaken, because there is seasons in this game. They actually add in skill-based matchmaking, which I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but I would like to believe otherwise. I just, for some reason, cannot seem to escape skill-based matchmaking with any multiplayer game I play. It's ridiculous, and yes, I understand that this is a Call of Duty, so you know what was I expecting, but it's a mobile game. Like, so, now I have to imagine, at least for the mobile players anyway, not the people that are playing on the emulator, but the people on their phones, even a phone game, a mobile game where you're playing with your thumbs, that has skill-based matchmaking, and that just is baffling to me, and it actually made me stay away from the game at first, because I wanted to see how it would be if anybody, like, made videos on it, but not really too many people play COD Mobile and make videos on it, I mean, there was the initial buzz, but COD Mobile was kind of like a forgotten COD, really, really, uh... So yeah, I wanted to play it here today because I actually really like it and it does well on my channel. So we're going to be playing some Call of Duty Mobile here today and seeing if skill-based matchmaking is really able to be felt in this game and if it's good for the game. And let's just see what happens. <laughs> oh, they add in Russian Nuketown from BO4. That's interesting. So now we have two different versions of Nuketown. Okay. Oh no, they just got rid of the old Nuketown. Why would they get rid of the BO1 Nuketown and just replace it with Black Ops 4s? Black Ops 4s is the worst version of Nuketown. <laughs> but either or, that's what I actually want to play here today. We're going to be playing Domination on Nuketown. And since there's a 24-7 playlist always available to us based off the game mode and map selection, this I feel like is going to be the sweatiest playlist. But what we're intentionally going to do is we're actually going to be using a non-sweaty class and seeing if that will still get us our kill streaks because... Traditionally with COD games, a lot of people say you can't have just a just for fun class. So if we can't do well or even have fun really with a just for fun class, then we'll know skill based matchmaking took place. Now since these games go by quick and may just be a placebo, I am going to play more than one match. How the fuck do I pick my class? What the hell is it? Why do I not have my mouse? Why is this what I gotta pick? Okay, I think I fixed it. How have I unnamed on sites? Okay, so that took me a minute. I accidentally picked a wrong class because that the way that they have it where you pick classes, you don't actually end up using the mouse button. Wait, how am I supposed to name down sites? Why is it not right click anymore? Did my game get janky? Hold on. Something's not right with my COD mobile. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Unfortunately, that doesn't really count, but I'll try to make it work. I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to be cheating and switching to a different game, because I feel like that would be unfair otherwise. Well, you can still definitely get quad feeds. See, I feel like that they would have gotten their killstreaks by now if they would have been sweaty, especially since I was AFK, but, uh, no, I guess not. Alright, now let's take advantage of the death machine. Hi guys. How's it going? I still managed to get all my kill streaks, I will say that at least. <laughs> Maybe the game isn't necessarily that sweaty. Maybe it's just there. Just to say it's there, I guess. Or no, who knows, maybe I might be ending up just having a fluke. Maybe because I haven't played since the skill-based matchmaking got implemented, I might not know where to put me. And who knows, maybe because I'm having a good game now means that my next game will be terrible. That's how it kind of always worked, right? It just rotated back and forth, so... Maybe I don't want to do too well. Maybe it will, like, give me the sweatiest lobbies possible now. Oh my good god. Yeah, 
Yeah, ruthless. To be honest, it's so far so good. I mean, we're about to win, so I didn't get as much kills as possible. But, uh, I feel like that this is a good baseline to figure out if it's gonna give me a sweaty lobby or not, because I did do pretty damn well. I mean, I did get a Relentless Flawless, so that's a 20-0. I'll keep the same lobby to especially make sure. Either that or it might kick you, who knows. I don't want to call just after one game. <laughs> it's funny seeing that cutscene at like 240p. And this is what I'm talking about, by the way. Take a look. You see how it made me like pick my class in a weird way? I'm not using my mouse. It wants me to pick like numbers one through blah blah blah. Capture the objectives. We captured Charlie. Enemy here's a, here's a good way if we if we uh want to see if we got a class. Just trying a, a sniping class. If we, if we go straight from sweating to straight to a sniping class, this will be a, a good reference point to see if the game is going to give us sweaty lobbies or not. Although I forgot how horrible it is to quickscope on a mobile game. The game is feeling a lot laggier. It felt like a lot smoother pr previously. I hope this game doesn't end up slowing down as updates come out like the modern games. I mean, so far so good. I mean, I'm just sniping the back here. Come on, guys, bring it on. I'm going in, dude. <laughs> oh, we got a flanker, actually. See, it's funny though, because these guys don't seem like they're being sweaty, as in like sweaty for me, because I thought I was going to get like PC lobbies, but it feels like that these guys are just um, sweaty mobile players, like in particular, like they still feel like they're on mobile, because PC and mobile play together, so I might just get be being PC sweats only occasionally, but predominantly still mobile guys. I'm just going in, dude. The sentry gun will guard my back, but I'm just going to pick them off from the front here. This is the fun part. Cod mobile nuke, maybe? That'd be kind of cool if we could get a nuke again. Man, maybe it'll kick in after five games. Who knows? I'm hoping it really doesn't, though. Gotcha. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. Oh, the game ended. Shit. <laughs> well, we're going to continue doing that, you know for sure. Okay, so here we go. Once again, we will just place the sentry gun around us to cover our flanks, and other than that, we should be all good. Did I get a nuke? Oh, I did get a nuke! <laughs> Alright, boys, we got a sniping nuke. Let's go. Let's call this bad boy in. Since you're gonna, you gonna guard me while I'm calling the nuke? Oh, it even tells me uh, on the screen that I did it. That's sweet. <laughs> okay, so you definitely still can nuke with skill based matchmaking, that's for sure. <laughs> Yo, let's go, boys. Maybe skill-based matchmaking doesn't apply to, uh, you know, the emulator. Oh, I finally died. I finally died. Here, let me see this kill cam. Eh, didn't look too fishy. Friendly hunter killer 
But the fact that I didn't die at all last game, and the fact that I just now died on this where after finally getting a sniping nuke, right after the other game where I was dominating, unless it takes more games, then uh, there's not skill-based matchmaking. If it is, it's very minuscule. Because, like, for example, they've said that uh, skill-based matchmaking has been in COD since uh, Black Ops 2. But if it was, it was a lot less severe in some of the older COD games like Black Ops 2. It really started to show through in, like, Advanced Warfare. Just keep this up. Keep it going. Keep her going. Calling the UAV. We almost got this, boys. I think I got a collateral there. Noise. Noise. Damn it. I wanted to get a wall bang there. But either or, though, let's go. GG's. <laughs> now, even though I was using a sniper, I still did get a nuke. So I do definitely want to see one more game. I'm not really wanting to actually see skill-based matchmaking. I, I know that uh, it would actually probably give me more views if I didn't end up getting a good lobby and I got skill-based matchmaking, which I definitely want definitely good views for sure, but I'm not going to force myself, and I actually hope I don't get bad lobbies. I'd rather would have the game be better and not get as much views, because I, I, I know controversy can lead to views, but I'd rather have the game just be fun. Okay, I got my assault rifle class, so unless I die here, it's not going to really do anything for me, so I'm just going to have to kill myself. Let's kill myself real quick. Okay, now what I'm going to try to do is I'm purposely going to go knife only. This is probably pushing it, but let's just see. Hey, buddy. Oh, here we go. Because if I can do well with a knife, I'm definitely... Uh, in a, a lot better of a lobby than I actually think I might be. Okay, so far so good. Oh, hey guys. Woo! Okay. Maybe knife only completely is just a hard challenge on its own. But we'll, we're going to still try it, for sure. Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm pushing it with the knife. Let's at least use the gun. Wait, oh, there's my mouse. For some reason, my mouse wasn't originally there. We're going to at least use the gun. I feel like using the knife is kind of a bad example because, uh... You know what I mean? It's a knife. And the game ended? Oh, they won. That's why. Hmm. Well, I am using the same sniping class as last time. And I did try to use a knife a couple times. Maybe if by using the knife, the game thinks I'm intentionally doing bad, and then therefore it will give me easier lobby. So actually what I'll do is I'm actually going to intend to snipe then. Well, let me just snipe. We'll see. Oh, I'm going to leave then. I don't want that 100 killer drone killing me. Okay, game, you really don't need to run that slow. The game's feeling sluggish, almost. Oh, you're not getting me on my watch. Oh my good god. Yo! Did I actually get a triple collat or something there? I'll have to review the footage because you can only get triple kills in this game, so if I get a triple feed, that might have been a triple collat. Okay, well, I'm not going to stop myself from using kill streak, so. Although, I'm just not going to use the Goliath. I, I like having the Goliath in my inventory if I need it, but I'm not going to use it all the time because I rather would go for gunplay and get things like nukes. Oh. <laughs> well, 
Well, that definitely, uh, was not the most brightest guy in the world. Oh, I heard a sniper shot around me. Somebody's being a snipey boy. Somebody else is also being a snipey boy. I see you. Come here, buddy. Now, there you go. I really want to unlock more stuff in this game, but I just don't play it enough. Yeah, I, I might just need to end up having a day where I just grind the crap out of this game and just end up unlocking whatever I want. Oh, finally got killed there. And we did indeed lose, actually. That was our very first defeat. Okay. We'll do two more games. I, I just genuinely want to see how many games it takes for me to, like, feel like it's getting really sweaty. I'm going to sweat now because of the fact that the lobbies are indeed getting harder. And so I'm going to use my favorite class. And if my favorite class gets me in, like, a really tough lobby afterwards, then we'll have a really good baseline. Because as soon as I got that nuke, I started to get a really sweaty lobby, it felt like. Or at least I got lost for the first time forever. So, just wait and see. See, the game never originally had the gunsmith from Modern Warfare. It originally had um, just normal creative class. So I'm glad that I still have this class on my my uh, character. But I feel like if otherwise, if I like didn't originally rank up this class back in the day, it'd be a lot harder to rank up things. I mean, you could still definitely get your kill streaks. Maybe what I should be doing is I should be judging my teammates, see how well they are. Holy crap, they're just all spawning right here. We're literally getting them in a spawn trap. I'm gonna intentionally place a sentry gun just so that way they uh, can't get B back. Isn't 20 kills a nuke in this game? I can't remember. Wait, advanced UAV? Oh, advanced UAVs are in this game now? Oh, sweet, there's a VSAT, dude. Let's go. Although it got called in at the very end of the game, god damn it. I had no idea they actually had a VSAT in this game now. I actually got to uh, equip that then when I eventually unlock it. <laughs> That'd be a great kill streak to run, especially since I don't use the Goliath so much anymore. Because I just always use the UAV. Oh, I thought that I disconnected. That would have been bad. I think I am about to get a nuke, not gonna lie, so... I'm gonna be a little bit careful for a second. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm about to get a nuke, right? Dude, even my teammates running around, like, knifing balls to the wall. No, no, oh, no, no, no! Oh, got a nuke again. Let's go, boys. Yeah, ya boy. Get in the nuke, just like a casual. Second nuke of the video. 
I can tell you, I can tell you this much is that if I end up getting a sweaty lobby after this, I wouldn't be surprised. Although, like I said, I hope not. So, oh, this actually is gonna save my ass right here because I'm in the middle of reloading. I mean, it is Nuketown after all. Yo, you. Yo, you guys just gonna keep spawning here, or what the hell was that? <laughs> You haven't played the game much? Capture the objectives. We're capturing C. Right, I'm just gonna actually use the same class to prevent a placebo effect. Alright, let's get B flag. There we go. That's one guy. We're capturing Alpha. Losing B. Oh, I just realized I actually when I change my settings back, it just changes to auto aiming down sights when I end up shooting. That's actually perfect. We lost Bravo. We lost Got that guy. Oh, ran out of ammo. Got that guy. You know, it's kind of funny, like, may maybe what's happening is with the skill-based matchmaking is that I'm the sweaty lobby that somebody's got after pup stomping for a while. You ever think about that? Oh. First time in a while I've genuinely seen snap aim like that. What, what happened here? Let's take a look at the kill cam. Whoa, okay. That's already our first fishy death. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is like the fifth game in, so it might just be that one particular player, who knows. I mean, you can still get quad feeds and shit like that for sure. Maybe it's just because I'm looking for it, I guess? Oh, shit. Oh, that guy definitely knew how to fight. Okay, <laughs> okay, that was also really fishy there. Freaking bunny hopping, really? In, in a mobile game. I mean, sure, if he's on PC, I mean, I can do that too, but on, on this game, I've never seen someone bunny hop. That That's like once in a blue moon. Is this the same guy too? I'm curious because now it's starting to get, okay, I, I'm actually getting a little bit worried. I'm actually hoping that this is not something that I'm seeing. I hope that this is a fluke. Capture the objectives. Heads up team. Enemy UAV spotted. Enemy taking C. We're capturing Alpha. We genuinely might have to play game six to really be sure because it might be after five games, not during the fifth game. I mean, you can still do well though. I mean, that was a quad view right there. I was wondering what the kill streak was more than anything. So yeah, it's this ICR guy. He just seems to be just auto locking onto my body there. But then again, though, I mean, it could just be a fluke. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Although I have noticed, yes, there is indeed a steady in increase in the amount of sweats. Like I never usually get red screen like that ever. Is there a guy genuinely head glitching? I mean, he's managing to get pop shots. Okay! Wow! And this is a different guy, yeah, the PW guy, he just... He got me. I'm actually starting to get gunfights where people are starting to genuinely kill me. 
Now, see, here's the thing, though, is that is this really truly bothering me? Not yet. I mean, I'm not, like, upset. I mean, it's definitely not 100% easy right now, but I will say this, though, is it definitely increases the, uh, the variety of the lobbies. That guy just auto-turned around and just saw me. I don't know if he was paying attention to the, the UAV or whatever. That was noticeable. Just, like, certain little actions like that is noticeable, you know what I mean? Let's see if I can get B back. Oh, okay. That's also another thing you don't see a lot too much in any days is the people using their specialist ability. A lot of people just forget those. In fact, he actually made me lose mine. Okay, that game was a lot closer than I thought it would be. A lot more kill streaks and a lot more death. We'll, we'll, we'll play one more just to be 100% certain. Okay, apparently the game does not want to work with a mouse today. It's why I'm going to end up doing left and right click with also a mixture of the number buttons. I genuinely do not know why, so I'm just going to use the LMG. If I don't do well with a sweaty class, that's also another sign, but I really wanted to try the fun class thing originally, like I said. Unfortunately, the game just has weird button layouts now. Oh. Am I lagging out? I might have just disconnected. That's shitty. I just DC'd, I think. Okay, so I can't seem to reconnect back to COD Mobile, so maybe it's just call a coincidence, and I know that they said blatantly yes for skill-based matchmaking, but when I see shit like this, this reminds me of the skill-based matchmaking on console, and it makes it really suspicious. Why can't I play all of a sudden after five games? Why all of a sudden did my lobby start to get sweatier and sweatier, like, as if I was playing PC players compared to, like, let's just say naturally better players. Because here's the thing is that naturally better players, yes, would kill me. But sweaty players jump and jump shot a lot. That was obvious. So I think that that was definitely a sign that this game has skill as matchmaking now. I just hope it doesn't interfere with my connection. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about most of all other than just being, like, just sweaty. But, uh, yeah, I will say that skill-based matchmaking is definitely here, even though, yes, they blame the told me, but I want to make sure for myself. Does it ruin the game? So far, no, but it definitely makes the game definitely not completely silky smooth easily now. And also, as well, on top of that, connections may start being an issue from now on. But who knows? At the end of the day, we just decided to just give it a try. But, yeah, guys, I hope you ended up enjoying today's video nonetheless. If you did, as always, I tremendously appreciate if you guys could just show your support by dropping a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed another YouTube video for those of you YouTube where you guys are ever going to see. Peace out, guys. <laughs>